Okay. Okay, we're going. Tessie Do Show. Oh, hi, friend. I just started. <laughs> Tessie Do Show. <laughs> Here we go. Dancing around in my kitchen. Jesse Ju Show. Oh, Terry McNabb joined. Hello. Juice show time. Welcome to the show, folks. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Wednesday edition of maybe some health information that you maybe haven't known in the past, but welcome to the show. Today we are making a, um, a stripped down version, if you will, of one of my favorite green juices. Um, I was thinking about what I wanted to make on the show this week and it came to me that I haven't made a green juice on the show in a while. So I thought, why don't I do my favorite green juice that I've put on this um, show a couple times, but a like more simple version of it, a more stripped down version of it. Um, and yeah, so that's what we're making today. We our ingredients are um, lots of green kale. Normally I do like two leafy greens, but today we're going to let kale be the star of the show. So our leafy green is kale. Um, our citrus is half a lemon. Um, one cucumber is like the juicy component that what's going to make up a, the mass quantity of um, the majority of the juice. Ginger, of course, spicy ginger, and a pineapple core. I just recently cut up a really delicious pineapple, so I'm assuming that the core is going to be really delicious too. So um, normally the green juice recipe that I make a lot has um, kale and parsley or kale and cilantro, um, cucumber, celery, apple, lemon, ginger. Um, but our sweet component is going to be the pineapple today. Juicy component is going to be the cucumber and then the kale, of course, and then lemon and ginger too. So I think this is going to be a good one. It's not going to be overly anything. It's going to be a simple, simple grain juice. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's talk about our ingredients today. Um, first things first, we're going to talk about ginger. Ginger is very um, anti-inflammatory, has anti-inflammatory properties, acts even as a pain reliever too. It has a chemical compound that reduces hypertension or high blood pressure. It also improves digestion because it helps awaken taste buds, which then produces saliva, which is the first step of digestion, is the saliva in your mouth. Um, and ginger tastes really good too. Okay, so that is our ginger component. We're using quite a bit of ginger today. Um, I mean, more, it's more than my thumb. So whenever, usually when I measure out ginger to y'all, I say like a thumb's worth of ginger. Um, so this is a little bit more than my thumb. So this is going to be a pretty intensely ginger juice, but I like to have lots of ginger when I'm having lots of greens and I put lots of kale in this juice today. So, um, yeah, speaking of kale, let's talk about kale. Um, kale is one of the, we use the word superfood a lot in, um, in, you know, culture today. And not a lot of foods, I think, really earn the title of superfood, but I think kale is one of the ones that rightfully so should be called a superfood. Um, kale is one cup of raw kale has 684% 
of your vitamin K intake that you're supposed to have for the day. Almost 700% of your, of your daily intake of vitamin K. Vitamin K is critical for um, blood clotting, which is an important part of anyone's body. Uh, it also has the same amount, one cup has, one cup of raw kale has over 200% of your vitamin A intake, which is good for your eye health, and over 100%, 134% to be precise, of your vitamin C intake, which is immune system. It's also high in antioxidants, beta carotene, um, polyphenols, vitamin C, flavonoids. Um, it's also high in calcium, which is good for um, bone cell health, magnesium, and potassium. So lots of good, lots of good things coming from kale. Um, let's see, it also lowers cholesterol and it is an immunity booster. Most fruits and vegetables are immunity boosters because most fruits and vegetables contain vitamin C, good source of vitamin C. Um, let's next talk about cucumbers. We haven't used cucumbers in a while um, and that's, that's mainly on purpose because cucumbers are a very cooling um, fruit because it has seeds on the inside. And you know it, we're we're in winter right now, so you if you like you know ayurvedically like study like what type of foods are best for your body and what type of foods are best for like certain seasons. Technically, you don't really want to do a ton of cucumbers right now because um, you're already in a cooled off state because you're in winter. It's probably cooler where you're at versus summer. Cucumbers are great for summer. But with that being said, we're going to have a green juice today um, with cucumbers in it. But we're also putting a lot of ginger in it too, which adds up the spice level, adds up the heat level. So we're kind of like leveling itself out. Um, but cucumbers, very alkalizing, very hydrating. They're high in, in vitamins A, C, and K magnesium, silicon, potassium. Cucumbers are a great thing to add to your diet if you're having joint pain because they keep your joints um, very lubricated and moisturized. I mean yoga does that as well but like if you're doing yoga and eating a lot of cucumbers or drinking a lot of cucumber juice you're gonna have a lot, lot less joint pain. And that's primarily because well they're hydrating and um, alkalizing, but also because they contain silicon. Silicon keeps your joints lubricated. Um, cucumbers also cleanse, detox, and alleviate digestive problems. They're good for healthy skin. They're good for just rejuvenating your body altogether. So cucumbers are really good. Don't, you know, go crazy on them in the winter, but they're good every once in a while. And, oh, let's talk about lemon. We're just using half a lemon today. I don't like to go crazy with um, too much citrus. I like to just keep it simple, like half a lemon, half a lime, an orange, maybe a grapefruit. Every once in a while, orange and grapefruit, not too often. Lemons are high in vitamin C, duh, like we've been talking about <laughs> the whole show, the whole really Tessie Ju show, we talk about vitamin C. Um, good for heart health, weight control, um, good for digestive health, they help prevent kidney stones, um, and they can also uh, prevent anemia, um, which they do that because they help improve your absorption of iron from plant-based food, so from all, all levels. Um, okay, last but not least, we'll talk about pineapple. Now, whenever I cut up a pineapple, pineapple is one of my favorite, one of my favorite fruits. So I eat pineapple quite frequently. That's one thing I haven't talked about on the show very often. I've talked about it on the show before, but not super often. Like, make sure that you're not just getting your fruits and vegetables from juicing. Juicing is a tremendous source of nutrients in my 
um, in my diet, but it's not the only time I'm ingesting fruits and vegetables. You need to get the fiber from fruits and vegetables too. So you need to eat fruits, you need to eat vegetables too, in addition to making juice. So I don't know if I say that often enough, but um, make sure that you are doing that as well. Balance is key. Um, so anyways, with that being said, I always, whenever I cut up the pineapple, I always save the um, core to juice the core because you can juice, I mean, obviously you can juice pineapple, but I like to eat it rather than juice it. So, but I also don't like anything to really go to waste. So I'm like, okay, might as well save the core and juice that. I started doing that a while ago and it's awesome. So um, today we're going to use the pineapple core, but feel free to use a whole pineapple if you want to for this juice. All of it's good to juice. Um, not all of it is good to eat. You can try to eat the core, but it's really tough. So <laughs> it might not, might not be great. Although I have seen my boyfriend try to eat a pineapple core and he successfully did it. So <laughs> he eats the core of everything. He even eats the core of an apple. So anyways, that's... <laughs> That's another story. Um, pineapple is high in um, antioxidants. It's high in enzymes too. Um, enzymes that can fight inflammation and disease. It's most notably known for the enzyme bromelain, which um, is uh, aids in digestion. So pineapple is really delicious and it has lots of really good uh, things to help your body. It boosts immunity. Oh, and this one's really cool too because I recently had some um, some small surgery while I was home in for Christmas, and um, it speeds uh, pineapple speeds up recovery from surgery or exercise. So I've been craving pineapple lately, and I wonder if that's my body just being like, "Hey, let's get some um, some help uh, healing from the surgery." So I thought that was kind of interesting the body is so smart the body is so like intuitive uh, it also is high in vitamin C manganese vitamin C and manganese manganese is important for um, aiding in growth and maintain a healthy metabolism um, so many good things I love love pineapple okay let's move on now um, I'm drinking tea today tea with a little bit of cream and my outfit today, you can't really see, but this is a full, like, uh, one of those maxi dresses. It's like a long, really long dress. And, um, yeah, I got a little, like, sweater over the top. So, yeah, welcome to my, welcome to my outfit today. <laughs> okay, so let's do the lemon first. We're going to squeeze the lemon into our cup. Squeeze the lemon by hand. Yeah, so somebody is liking that lemon, lemon squeeze out there. Awesome. It's kind of a gray day here in Austin today. It's, um, the weather I wouldn't say is bad. But it's and it's weird too because I went to bed and it was it was cold out. It was probably like 40 degrees, 40, 50 degrees. And I woke up and it's like almost 70. So I don't know. You're just having the weirdest winter here in Austin. But I think that's kind of like everywhere's having a, a weird, weird winter. Mm. I wanted, I recently, or not recently, I originally wanted this juice to be like super lemony. I was like thinking lots of lemon and pineapple might be really good together. But also then I was trying to think that might be a little bit too acidic. So I just went with my normal half lemon. And I think this is going to be, I think that's going to be the right choice. I always like to go with the idea of like a green, like a green lemonade, because everybody likes lemonade. And um, 
I was thinking maybe like lemonade with like kale in it, which is kind of the idea I was going off of today, but um, but no, that's what I, I did not decide to do that. I decided to do the direction that we're going in. Okay, now, since my pineapple core is already cut up, I don't need to cut that up. I'm just gonna slice the ginger like right down the middle, lengthwise so that it's a little bit easier to go through the juicer. We're gonna cut our cucumber into eighths. So basically I just cut it in half this way, and then I cut each one of these in half the long way, and then in half the long way again. Whenever I cut things, I always try to hold on to the top of the blade, like right where the blade meets the handle. So, um, something kind of kind of helpful. I learned that in the kitchen. I used to work in, and I, I, it's so weird how you remember where you learn things. I remember I used to work at this. Um, you cord lane people might remember. Well, I'm sure you remember Java. I used to work at this coffee shop on Sherman that's no longer there, it's Vault now, but um, I used to work at Java and they had a little kitchen back there and I was trained to work to make like the sandwiches and stuff in the back and like you had to cut up stuff and they're like, this is how you hold a knife. I was like holding the knife like, I was like holding it like this, like with my finger on top, like, they're like, no, you gotta grip onto the knife so that you don't like, so it doesn't slip around. Stuff that flashes back into my head. Okay, let's make juice. So we're gonna um, do the kale in first, and then we're gonna alternate with pineapple and cucumber until it's all through, and then we're gonna run the pulp through a couple times. This tea is really good. It's just black. Um, it's English breakfast this time, not Irish breakfast. I finished that tea. <laughs> Here we go. Kale's gonna go through the machine first because our blade is clean right now, so it's the sharpest um, it can be. So we want to add like the fine, the fine um, materials through first so that the sharpest blade can cut up. When the blade gets other things on it, then it gets a little bit duller. Yeah, so we'll do kale, pineapple, cucumber, and then do that cycle again. Kale, cucumber, pineapple. Since I have these like little smaller pieces of kale, I'm just going to break them in half and send them through. But the bigger pieces I'm going to break in half and only send through half of it. These little ones I can send through together. Thank 
pour this into our mm, lemon and pineapple juice. There's already a little bit of pineapple just from the bottom of the um, just from the bottom of the cup that had our our uh, pineapple in it. What is going on here? Mm. Okay. Weird. Okay, the internet's being weird. Huh. All right. Well, we're going to keep going, especially on our YouTube. Sometimes there are technical difficulties with uh, Instagram, so it's always good to watch the full episode here on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Okay, now we have two more pieces of cucumber and a piece of ginger to run through. So we're going to do that. We're going to do cucumber, ginger, cucumber, and then we're going to run the uh, pull through. Okay. Okay. A second because it's looking like it's getting overwhelmed. You can tell the juicer is a little backed up when you have to like push really hard to get the produce to go through the juicer. You don't, you shouldn't have to push. This is smelling very gingery. I did not expect it to smell as gingery. Well, I mean, duh, like it's a big piece of ginger. I put a big piece of ginger. Yeah. 
greens are a really important thing to have in your diet. Not a lot of people get enough greens. It's always the thing like when you're drinking green juice, people are like, oh, you're drinking grass or you're eating grass. It's like, not a lot of people like the taste of greens. But it's important to have um, the minerals that greens provide you. It's important to have those in your body. So I guess my toast today is to eat more green things and drink more green, naturally green things. Cheers. Mmm. Yum. That is very spicy. First thing I taste is the um, first thing I taste is the greenness, of course, but also the spice that um, also the spice of the ginger. I taste the mellowness of the cucumber as well. Like it doesn't taste, um, it doesn't taste like water, but it definitely tastes like something, there's a little bit more texture to it. Um, texture that cucumber offers. I taste the lemon a little bit on the back side in conjunction with the pineapple too. It's not very sweet, which I think, um, Pineapple core tends to be a little bit less sweet than um, than uh, like apples or something too, or than the rest of the pineapple. I guess is what I'm trying to say. So <clears throat> that's another good benefit of juicing the pineapple core is that it's not going to be overly sweet. Um, but this is a really nice one. I can feel like the ginger soothing my stomach. It's a really great thing to have on an empty stomach. Um, this is lovely. I really like this one a lot. Um, this would be a great, like, every, at least once a week juice. Thank you guys for watching. Um, tune in next week. I'm not sure what we'll be making yet, but I'm sure it'll be something delicious and definitely something nutritious. Mwah! Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and you can watch the live show on um, our Instagram page when it's working um, and our Instagram handle is Yoga East Austin. You can also find me on Instagram, um, my personal page, which is Tessa McFabulous. Okay, that's all for now. See you soon.